So what, what are the overall effects that this is having on plants and, uh, and on livestock, on animals? I have a, a letter that, or an email that I received from a veterinarian in, in another state. Uh, and he said, I've been working three years trying to find out uh, why my hog producer that I'm supporting, servicing here, uh, why we can't make any headway to keep him in business. He said, I've, I've sent tissue in to, to various laboratories. We've checked for PERS. They've checked for uh, uh, clostridium toxins. They've, they've checked for viruses. All of the known causes, and he said, they're always negative. And uh, when they've gotten that, I've been able to refer him to the veterinarians that can uh, identify the organism. Those veterinarians then in many situa in a new situation where they haven't already gone through that very costly and long process of trying to find out what's happening, they've, they've gone in and they've actually done split samples and they'll send them in to check for all of the known causes. They come back negative, but it always comes back with this organism. Because of what we were seeing in both the plant epidemics of Gauss's wilt and sudden death syndrome, that were associated with the increase in infertility and abortions in, in cattle, pigs, chickens, and, and horses, uh, that there was a, a direct concern with the continued use of our uh, abuse of the system without recognition of, of what those ties really meant because the problem is continuing to get uh, much more intense, much more damaging for our both our animal as well as our uh, crop production systems.